No, no, that's tuna right there. Freezer. Right next to the boat. Bomber. 100% gonna get one. Puddler. Oh, there he is. Shiner. Go, 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 go. Foam Depot. Dive, dive, just dive. Bomber Simpson. Go, 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 go. Foam to the dome. <laughs> This is Cameron Kirkconnell spearfishing at its finest right here, baby. It's so funny, like, it, you travel around the world, yeah. and obviously we're trying to find, like, the best fishing in each place mm -hmm. all the time, so having friends like you makes all the difference in the world. Well, likewise, I mean, you know, it, it gives us knowledge and information from all over the world, to be perfectly honest, and it's really valuable. But at the end of the day, these are the same fish, and most of the time, similar techniques will work no matter where you target them. Uh, let's go take a look at that spot. Two camera, could you hand me uh, that popping setup? I just want to see if they'll respond to the popper. The vast majority of the techniques that we're employing for these big fish, maybe that be spearfishing or rod and reel, is, is is a mix of things that have come from elsewhere in the world. It's a combination, you know, and it, it really helps us and it really has developed our fishery tremendously. You think it's a bluefin or a yellow? Oh, it's a bluefin for sure. The way it's acting. Oh, oh dude, look at that spot. Oh my god. What's oh, going on? Ready to jump in? <laughs> or as a dead Rizzo's dolphin. Here it comes, here it comes. And um, it's got two big Makos chewing on it. I'm gonna put the GoPro in. Yeah, we'll be fine. You guys still occupied. No. Fish out! Whatever it is, he knows how to go fight around the boat. Jesus. Oh, what the heck is he doing? About a rebate. <laughs> That's pretty hot fishy right there. I think it's Benita's. I can feel inside, I can feel the anchovies still alive. I kid you not. But uh, it's it's been yeah it's been spectacular you know and every year fisheries developing I mean hell I remember when these big blue first showed up fishing wise I mean nobody was really fishing the popper here or stick bait or anything like that that became popular and it just kept on evolving the same thing when it comes to spear fishing let's face it I mean when these big blue first started showing up people were targeting them with small small reel guns and you know there's stories of uh, so you know, many 
fish lost. Oh, absolutely, so guns, like, absolutely. Yeah, guns ridiculous. lost and also guns retrieved later on. I mean, yeah. I know of a handful of accounts of people actually catching bluefin that still had spears attached to them and even spears with full guns with fully healed wounds. So pretty remarkable that, that these fish can withstand such a such a trauma and actually thrive falling, quite frankly. Look out of there. <laughs> You hit it right when it landed. Dude, there's another school out there too, a block past that. Oh, you missed it. Oh. Come on. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one there. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. Oh, crazy Ivan coming back with the boat. Crazy, the elephants never do this. The elephants go straight down. The Wahoo do this, they'll run back to the boat. But bluefins, why are they fight like this? It's like almost up on the surface right here. 50 fish foaming on the surface. Sure. And all my fighting, little tiny pumps. Just to keep their head coming up. The elephant this size on this rod, it would be an hour fight. Catastrophic. <laughs> oh, it'd be such a pain. This one we'll get in. It's like a decent fish. Yeah, dude. Oh, we go. Barely got him. Where's the other guy? Oh, there you go. Oh, dude, nice. A recap? A recap. Yeah. Like this bluefin thing that's happened here in California is just otherworldly. Uh, there's some great patty spearing going on. I mean, about two weeks ago, just about every patty was holding schools of minimum of 50, if not 300 yellowtail. Uh, nothing particularly large, but I would say that average cookie cutter grade that we see, you know, mid to high teens to mid 20s, something like that, with a few standout models in the 30 pound. Dorado started uh, showing up on patties, so that's that's kind of a, a new thing, at least locally. They've been down south for a while, and uh, looks like uh, some of that uh, more local grade is uh, starting to make its way on the patties, the Alto Wise. So. Cookie cutter fish, 60 to 80 pound. Tried a new Japanese manufactured stick bait out and it appears to be working just fine. So you land a 60 or 100 pound bluefin <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time. We found the zone, we stayed on them and capitalized, man.
uh, it's, it's been wild and we're extremely fortunate to have this out here and uh, help. Let's, let's see how long it lasts. You know, we're, we're very blessed right now and hopefully it'll continue and this will become the norm, not, uh, not just a phase in SoCal's uh, fishery, so to say.